Hello, I'm Renaud from Mount Mountains and welcome to this video that will showcase everything that's new in version 2.1 of the Corgi engine. Um, the first thing you'll notice when you get the new version is that uh, the global folder structure has kind of changed. Um, now everything is, I think, uh, better sorted out. So uh, you'll have a big common folder uh, where you'll find everything that's part of really the, the core of the engine. Uh, you'll find all the scripts you like. Um, you'll find uh, a new namespace too called MM Tools, uh, which will include uh, all sorts of helpers, uh, from math stuff to uh, uh, debug helpers, stuff like that. Really interesting folder if you want to code. Um, and basically all the all the scenes that are not part of a specific demo, uh, like the start screen, the splash screen. Um, really the core of the engine. And then you have uh, the demos folder with uh, the Corgi 2D demo, Corgi 3D, uh, Pixel Super Hipster Bros. Uh, in each one you'll find specific animations, specific materials, resources, or prefabs, the scenes themselves, and uh, some scripts, like for example um, the one that moves the trees in the, the Corgi demo. Um, and of course all the sprites. So now everything is um, in its own place um, and that way I think it's easier to know what uh, and where to look for stuff. Um, it also includes a new a new whole, a whole new uh, environment and, and level. Uh, I called it minimal because as you'll see uh, it's pretty minimal. So right now I've uh, the minimal level loaded. Uh, it's kind of an evolution of the previous minimal level, which I guess was, wasn't that minimal. Um, so now it, it's really bare bones, uh, it's a good foundation if you want to start a level. Just start with that, uh, you'll find it has only a game manager, a level manager, a UI camera, you can even get rid of that if you want, um, uh, of course a regular camera and a, a level made of the minimum stuff. And of course you can remove the platforms if uh, you want to replace them with your own. Um, and it also introduces uh, a new character. I called him Rectangle because he's a kind of white rectangle with a small, small cute face. Um, and that's it. Uh, it has really basic animations for you to get started and replace them with your own. Um, it can, you know, crouch, look up, uh, jump, double jump. It even has a small jetpack. You can dash. Uh, what else can you do? Not much. It's a rectangle. Um, but it's it's fully working. You can wall jump, um, and it's a really good basis um, to to get started. Um, in the the minimal thing, you will also find that there's a, a new level uh, called features platform. Uh, which is meant as a showcase of everything you can do in terms of uh, pure platforming. So no, no shooting involved here, but um, uh, you'll see that if I, I go through it, um, we have this small uh, blue dude, which is just an AI. That's nothing. I thought it was funny. Um, so yeah, let, let's go through it. Uh, most of the stuff here, yeah, if you're familiar with the engine already, you have already seen, but uh, Showcase is the fact that uh, the engine is really good with um, weird shapes and weird platforms. You can, you know, do the kind of, of levels, uh, any kind of level you want. Um, in the, the new version, I've also improved uh, wall jump. It's now much more easier to set up and to configure. Um, I've added a new, a new animation uh, called dangling. If you are on the edge of a platform. Uh, as you can see, dangles. That's funny. Um, we still have jumpers. Uh, one of the new thing uh, in the new version is ropes. So you can just you know, hang on to that. Um, it's really made in the style of the ones you would find in um, old school games like Pitfall or Aladdin or stuff like that. So um, the idea is that here it's a rope, but uh, if, if you look at uh, how it works, you'll see that. Where is my rope? There it is. Um, 
a rope is made is made of um, well an animation of a rope or whatever and then you have uh, that grip uh, thing uh, grip game object uh, with a grip script and uh, everything that has a grip script can be um, gripped by your player so um, yeah I just grip it and I can jump at any time so um, with that you can do a rope but you could also do some kind of zip lines I guess or whatever you want um, one of the new things too is that now things can be button activated like for example um, this door so uh, if I press A actually space because I'm on, on a Mac um, I can move from one door to the other that's the the old uh, platform script uh, sorry portal script but uh, now you can button activate it uh, we still have ladders we still have coins and uh, here's one of my uh, favorite new additions uh, it's surface modifiers so it's a single class um, I'll just show you how it works and this level is long um, so I just select a block of ice and you'll see it's really basic platform, box collider, uh, platform layer and it has a surface modifier script um, this one uh, benefits from the new inspectors I, I implemented uh, where you get a lot of information directly in the inspector I'm gonna replicate that uh, to all the other classes over time um, so yeah surface modifiers what do they do? Uh, you can set a friction so if you have a, a low friction below one uh, and above zero uh, you get something like ice and if you go over uh, one you'll have something like mud something stickier so uh, right here the blue ones are ice and so if i walk and i'm not walking anymore i might just keep sliding um, this works really well uh, if you you know run and you can run in the other direction kind of uh, fight it and if you stop uh, if you run and if you stop running you just keep on sliding and, and decelerating and I fail and of course you, you can you can change change that uh, to whatever value you want um, and if you uh, try these ones these ones are kind of sticky call them uh, mud so right now I, I'm running at full speed, but as you can see, I'm not running very fast. But if I just untouch, yeah, I can run at full speed again. So um, they are really powerful in that uh, changing only one setting, you can create any kind of surface, and it works really well. Uh, it will affect enemies too if you want. And the same script uh, can also be used uh, to add force. So uh, if you look at these orange uh, blocks here, um, these are treadmill blocks. So if I just step on them, I'll be uh, you know moved to the right. So I'm not walking, and I'm still moving. It's also fun to try and uh, you know walk them, try to uh, fight them while going against the flow. Um, I can even modify them to add some vertical force too um, I'm just gonna put one here and see what it what it does so right now I have a treatment trampoline that's not something you see every day um, what else we'll still have uh, wind we have pushable blocks and portals love these um, we have falling platforms all that uh, and pretty new and now we have uh, the new moving platforms so uh, if I step on that one you'll see that it starts moving uh, this one is well missed it this one is a one-way moving platform so I can jump from underneath and get out of it uh, this one is a moving platform that waits at certain points uh, because why not and this one is I think my favorite it's really fast and it goes all across the level um, like a magic carpet or something so um, yeah that's uh, kind of everything I think um, is new in this 
new environment. Uh, really, it's a good, uh, really good way to uh, prototype new levels. Um, I'm just gonna go, yeah. And uh, something else that's new is uh, I've added a loading screen. Uh, it will handle. Uh, it's particularly useful on mobile, of course. On on a PC, it wouldn't be. Uh, Maybe necessary, seeing as uh, the engine is pretty lightweight. Uh, but depending on how much assets you have, the size of your levels and stuff, you might come in handy. Um, so it's automatic now, uh, as long as you, you call it uh, when you want to change levels. But all the assets are, are set up for it, um, and I think it looks good. Of course, you can uh, you can customize it. Um, it's extremely easy. You go to common. You go to um, loading screen, and uh, everything happens right here. So uh, you have uh, small animations you can custom. You can, uh, of course, remove that logo and put yours. Um, really, really power powerful stuff here. Um, what else should I show you? Oh yeah, I know. Um, I've added uh, stuff also to. Mountain scene. What else do we have? Um, no, stop talking to me, please. Yes. Yeah, I've added ice blocks here too because I really, really like these ice blocks. Uh, they're really fun to play with. Ouch. We put a cactus here. Um, and uh, yeah, one last thing. One last thing. I've added an FPS counter, um, so if you, uh, it's optional, so you have to um, reactivate it. Right now, it uh, by default it will be uh, uh, de deactivated. So you just uh, check that box, and in the bottom corner you will find an FPS counter. So um, right now I'm recording video, so I'm close to 60 FPS, but uh, I've I've tried that. It's Particularly useful on on mobile where you don't have all the the Unity debug stuff, uh, but I I've managed uh, to reach 60 FPS uh, really stable on iPhone and uh, on my Nexus 5. Um, so yeah, sometimes you might want to um, remove camera effects, uh, stuff like bloom and stuff, depending on your device, depending on how it works. Uh, but yeah, that that should be all. So um, so we've covered the new level, we've covered surface modifiers, FPS counter, treadmills, moving platforms, dangling, scene loader ropes, that's, that's, I think that's it for this new version. It also includes a bunch of bug fixes, um, but um, I, I'll just put that in the change log, it's not really that interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.